gather and sit down and guys welcome back to the channel i'm here for some more zero escape features us reward and last time i don't actually remember what i asked you guys to do in the comments down below if i asked you guys to do anything so i think i don't think i'm gonna go to another colored door we did the red door we obviously can't do quark's door so i think we're gonna go and do the other option in this a b game I also, I think I just trusted, but I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see what happens. Uh, wait, what do I? Ally or betray. I think last time I chose ally, so this time I might choose betray. You know, because I'm pretty sure we got betrayed at the last moment before the counter reached zero, I made my choice. I think last time I chose ally on Team Yoji, and this time I might choose betray. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on right now. I don't remember. We saw the dead body. We saw the dead lady. I think Timmy OG chose Betray. So I'm going to choose Betray. And we'll just see what happens. If I'm not, if I need to re-choose, I'll re-choose. We might get another game over. Who knows? I hope not. Great. All the usual stuff, you know. Everything's completed. We've done we've done the Ambidex game, polling, voting, everything like that. Let's go. As far as a nice step, Timmy OG, what betray, happened? Huh? I chose betray. Wait, so what was I actually saying? Timmy OG was left behind. His footsteps a slow, heavy plod. Oh, yeah, that's right. He saw his wife die. Now I betrayed him. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Fi. What? You hey, said I should. I say that. I just asked you a question. What would happen to our BP if Ten Miyoji chose to betray us? Nothing. It was a leading question. Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you were so happy to let me choose after you lost in rock, paper, scissors. You were planning to use me as a scapegoat all was along. I? God damn it. Oh. What's up? Well, damn. Hey, Zero. It's good to see Zero again. I always love seeing a good old Zero. Let's announce the results. I do love me some Zero. Hey, wait. Shit. Yep, Sigma, you brought yourself into this mess. We're going to see what Team Yuchi chose. He's probably going to choose Ally in this run. Oh, no. Jeez, patience, Zero. Okay, let's go, Zero. I always miss hearing Zero's voice. Zero is so amazing. Let's go, Zero. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Let's look at the monitor. Let's go have a look and let's see what we what we did to Team Yoji. Everyone's obviously here for this voting. Betray ally. Betray ally. Betray ally. I knew it. I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. It was obvious. It was so obvious. Here are the results but from your game now. I'm sorry, Tim Mioji. <sighs> I got betrayed. I'm sorry, Tim Mioji. I I didn't initially want to choose this, but the game forced me to go down this path by choosing betray. He chose ally. Why? He chose betray last time, so I'm remembering. Last time? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, nothing. The truth was, I didn't know why I'd said that either. The words had just appeared in my mouth before I knew I was saying them. You're the one who chose betray. I should be asking You're right. you why. I told him you might choose betray. Yeah, by you. I'd never choose betray. I I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. Timmy OG, I'm sorry. I love you, dude. I apologize. Fi, you don't need to apologize. I was the one who did it. I uh, pushed the button. Yeah. I guess you've got a point. Huh? Wait, what? You want to blame him? <laughs> blame him. Fi's just like, oh yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> what the hell, Fi? each other now. I don't care which one of you pushed the button. I'm never We're both responsible. That's fair enough. You know, I respect that by Timmy OG. Okay. Oh wait. I respect that. I respect his decision. I tried to think of something to say, but before I could come up with the right words, he was gone. I spun around. Five. What the fuck? But she was gone too. God, where the hell? How'd she just disappear like that? As I looked around the room for Fi, I noticed that Clover K and Luna seemed to be having some kind of argument as well. Oh, I thought they were all disappeared. I thought everyone just disappeared. 
I move closer and do my best to listen surreptitiously. Poor Luna. I guess I wanted to get out of here as soon as possible, you know? I apologize, but I felt the same way. But if we all choose Ally, then we could all escape together. It only it's takes true. three turns to get six points. Exactly. It would be enough to get us out. See, Luna has the right concept that I had. Of course we know that. But if we betray, then it's faster. If your opponent chooses ally, and you do that twice, then you get six points. You see? If you ally, then you have to play the AD game three times. Three times. But, if you betray somebody, but there's nothing wrong with playing it three times. But why are you acting like that's the right thing to do? I yeah. Like you're blaming me or something. We aren't trying to blame you. But, I mean... If you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. No. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you Luna! I want to hug Luna. Luna's my favorite. Luna walked off with her head buried between her shoulders. Her back trembled as if perhaps she were crying, but I couldn't see her face. Alice, Dio, and Cork, however, seem to be having some issues of their own. So then Dio and Cork also Fine. betrayed. You just wait. This is all your fault, Quark. A deal and Quark blaming fault? each other. Why are you blaming me? Yep, they are. They exchanged dark looks, then stopped off in different directions. Well, damn. Zero. What makes you think we'll be having a well, you if there's a re And okay, can I? Can I? I can just skip through all this. There we go. Let's skip through this to something new because we've now gone through all of this info before. We know about if we die. It's going to be Timmy Oldie. Timmy Oldie. Oh, it's not going to be me for once. It's not going to be me for once. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Everyone. I mean, fair enough. Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Because you're on one BP. Drop to zero. Get penalized. Just like when you break the rules. And basically, you die. Alice, Luna, and I only have one BP. That means yeah. we less than zero if we lost two points. What? Correct. What the hell? I mean, I didn't. I wasn't out to kill Timioji. We could kill Timioji if we needed to. Let's be real. But we're not going to run into that. Okay, so we're remembering everything that happened. And now we're gonna go talk to people. Go into the lounge, I guess. Oh, damn. It's like literally all the same stuff. Okay. So, I guess we're not even gonna find a bomb? I think I then went to the infirmary. I'm gonna... If I can skip as much as, I, as possible. Oh, what what's up? Want? Oh. What do I want? What? You think I'm here to play doctor? Only if you're secretly Clover. I'll tell you what. That's disgusting. That's disgusting, Sigma, and I you love it. Exam table, and I'll cut you open with that scalpel over there. You know what? Fair enough, Timmy OG. Man, he's too pissed. Of course he is. Thanks to you. I'm sorry, Tinny. Come on, I already yes, told you I'm sorry. Better, you, goddamn idiot. you know, that's fair enough. Well, then what the heck am I supposed to do? Seems like I'm already you doing that. True. Just get out of my sight. Easy solution then, just close your Maybe eyes. Before I make yours black. The last guy Damn, he's angry! He's so angry! Timyoji! Shouldn't have picked a fight with the paramedic then. Man, I'm sassy! Sigma's kinda sassy, I kinda like that! I'm kind of a fan of sassy Sigma. Fine. I shoved my hands in my pocket and looked around the room. Is that it? Yeah, okay. And now it's just the same, so now we have all that same story. Like I'm gonna tell that to someone who betrayed me. Okay, you're gonna keep talking. Alright, fine. I'll just ask Quark. Quark! And then Quark starts to show his radical six signs, and now we go to the crew quarters, where we go through this whole storyline. Nothing should be different. Talk about the organization they worked in. Quark collapses, Quark goes crazy with Radical Six. 
We take it off. He goes insane. He's all evil and angry. He's like, stop. We tranquilize him. Alice doesn't go crazy this time. So this timeline, Alice does not get infected. And now it's time that we go through a door. But I'm guessing I don't have an option. So, how are we going to do this? Okay. What about Fi? Well, yes, but... I don't want to go with Dio. Same reason. I can't trust that he won't betray me again. So there's only going to be one option. You've single-handedly torpedoed my reputation. Well, you did do it, Dio. I know you did. I know Dio is the one who betrayed. Um, yeah, there's only going to be one option. Well, that leaves us with option B. No, we can't do option B. Why? Why not? Sorry, Luna, but I can't trust you or Fi either. But you're not with Luna. Oh, Luna, Fi, what? Quark. Right. The way he is right now, someone's going to have to carry Quark. I just can't afford to give him to someone I don't trust. <laughs> I thought you trusted Fi. for this. Then what do you intend to do? Yeah, what's he gonna do? Quark shifted silently in Kay's arms. Quark is a solo, as are you, Tenryoji. You can't so go with can't them. Pair with one another. You do remember that. Yeah, of course I do. I didn't say there wasn't so, anyone I trusted. There was one person. Who? Who oh. do you trust then? What? Me? Yeah, that's what I said. So why does he trust Clover so much? Why does... Because he's, he's had a lot of feelings towards Clover this whole game so far. Why does Semi-Oji trust Clover? I can't tell you. I just know that you'll keep him safe. Um, well, that's nice of you to say, but my partner is Sigma. Are you sure you want me to take him? It's fine. Clover, you just go <gasps> by yourself. I get to hang out with Cork, even though he's knocked out. Make Sigma wait outside the AV room. No. I guess I can do that. Then we have to go with option C, right? That means, Which means I'll be stuck with Dio. There's no way yeah. I'm going to let that happen. Who do you want to pair up with then? Isn't it obvious? Quark. Remember what the announcement said? Something about how the system will automatically vote ally for anyone who doesn't enter their own vote in time? If Quark doesn't wake up by then. No. This is exactly why I can't trust any of you. True. One, but he two, trusts Clover, even though Clover two, chose two, Betray. We don't have time to argue this. Let's take a vote. Those opposed to C? Alison Dio's hands what? went up. Why don't you want C, Dio? Well, if she's got that much of a hate on for me, that hardly plays into my hands, does it? That's mm. fair. Fine, whatever. I assume anyone who didn't raise their hand is all right with option C then? Correct. I, and I guess we're taking no one objected. I kept my mouth shut too. Just as Alice had said, there was an excellent chance that Quark would default to ally. If that happened, he'd make a great opponent. I'd choose ally, of course, but it would be good to not have to worry about him choosing betray. All right, six mm. to two in favor. Wait, what about me? Stay here if you don't like it. I imagine your partner might have something to say about that, though. Yeah, you might kind of die. Kay handed Quark to me gently, then crossed his arm and turned to face Salas. Her jaw clenched as she stared up at him and I could see the gears turning inside her head. Fine. You're outvoted, Alice. There's no way you can get Ten this. Seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Let's do it. <laughs> Hurry, Clover. The door's closing. Hey, Let's go. What? Quark. Don't worry about it. I've got Quark. I got a good grip on Quark, nodded to Timioji and took off for the door. Our feet slapped against the metal floor as we ran. The empty voice of the announcer echoed in my ears. I'm with me, wow. Clover, Quark. Yeah. That's like the perfect group. That's my favorite grouping right oh, there. Those are my favorite Those. characters, apart from Luna. If Luna was there too somehow, if I could get four people, I'd be sold. And maybe K. So if I'm a little bit sus, sus of K all of a sudden. Something off about K that I don't like. Something about K is not right okay so where are we going because we've done archives huh well, is this a dead end there are three doors here but it lo locked what's this thing it's can got a lever on it uh come on my hands are kind oh, of full yeah. right now i can take quark then oh so you really don't want to touch that thing do you I mean, look at it it looks suspicious i mean fair enough 
like hold cork or maybe Whoosh, die. A bunch of poison needles fly out of the wall. Maybe if I had like a piece of wood to move it with or something. Well, I respect that, Clover. I think you might be a you little doing? paranoid. I oh, will. Fine. I shift the cork over to one shoulder and flip the switch with my free hand. Open! We did it. Let's go to the treatment center. Oh, okay. So there's still one area that nobody's gone to. We've gone to the treatment center. We've gone to the archives. So let's see. See? No deep needles. Everything's now, fine. Only one of the doors opened. True. Did you see the plaque on that door before it opened? I think it says something like treatment that's some center. Kind of medical thing? Maybe. First infirmary, now this. Why do I keep ending up in these places? I glance over at Cork, asleep on my shoulder. Hey, you know what we, you know what huh? we may have lucked out. What do you mean? Well, if this is where they treat people, maybe they got something that can cure oh, Cork. Yeah. Let's okay. head on in then. I hope so. Well, I know there's nothing here, but it'd be nice if we could. Ooh, jellyfish. A lion with a target, a clock, the exit, a bunch of the the. Pods? What it are those? On the side. Treatment, Treatment pods? Pod. Man, I'm smart. It's almost like I've been here before. So I guess it treats people? Yeah. Maybe it can help cork. But it's locked. Damn. No good, it's locked. Let's take a look around. Maybe something in here will okay. tell us how to unlock this door. And so Clover nodded and bounced off to examine the room. I lay Quark down just outside the door to the treatment center. Clover might have been overly paranoid about the lever, but there's no harm in being cautious. Hang on there, little guy. We'll get you fixed up soon. I ruffled his hair gently, then turned and headed back into the room. I had some investigating to do. So it's time for another escape room. Seek a way out. Let's go. Let's go. This is where things get intense and serious, and we need to get... Serious. We can't relax. We've got to be serious. So let's have a look around. Um, there are three treatment pods in the pod room. There are numbers on each one. Reading from left, they're one, two, and three. Okay. Um, so how d how can I go around this room? There's obviously a door there. Hey, 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 hey. That's the exit. But there's also a binder here. Looks like this piece of paper and it says how to open the pod room door. There we go. Great. And we got this tablet here as well. Um, we got this clock. A wool clock. Nothing strange here. What? Are you serious? Are we even looking at the same clock? Everything about it is abnormal. There's no arms. There's that weird thing. Really? It looks like a totally regular clock to me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Abnormality, nal ab abnormality number one. No hands. Oh yeah. I guess it doesn't have any. What do you mean you guess? How could you miss that? Sorry. Anyway, abnormality, abnormality number two. There's some weird green glowy thing. Oh yeah, there is. What is that? It looks like an like on off switch. I guess there's no way to know without taking it. But there's a cover, right? You can't get to it. Number four, number one. Mm, yeah, and it won't open. Shoot. Well, duh. There's no way it's going to be that easy. So if we want this green thing, we have to figure out a way to get that cover open. Yep, abnormality number three is the hole on the bottom left corner. Huh, I wonder what it is. I think it's probably a keyhole. Oh ho! Then that means... Wait, we can't think... We can think later. I've got two more points of abnorm abnormality. Number four. Turn your attention to the other side of the clock. Specifically the bottom right corner. Yep, there's two, like, SD card readers. What do you think these things are? Well... They're two slots planted red and green. Do you think they're for memory cards? They sure look like they are. So then what's five? And I've said the best for last. Abnormality number five is about the number four. Yeah. Huh? Look where it says number four on the clock face. That number four is the fifth abnormality. Ah, yes, I see. It is rather odd. Does that mean this is the fourth clock? Anyway, those are the five weird things about this clock. Where were you looking anyway? Uh, the clock. Then your eyes must be worse than I thought. Okay, well, we've certainly got a lot of information about said clock. That middle jellyfish looks odd, but before I get there, I want to look at this plant. 
There's like something cut into it, a plant. It's all withered up. How sad. I bet it hasn't been watered. Yeah. Did you notice there's something stuck in the trunk? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks like red plastic. Let me have a look. I'll see if I can pull it out. Huh. It won't budge. I think it's stuck on something. Guess we have to take the whole thing then, huh? Well, that red thing is probably important. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so I got a, a withered plant. Now we got this jellyfish tank, which also requires a key. Oh my gosh, aliens! Pretty full, they're just jellyfish. Aliens. There are three jellyfish. Two yellow ones and a purple one. What's inside that purple one? Is it digesting human flesh? Why would you even think something like that? I don't think it's meat anyway. Look at it. It's too solid. I think it's a tile of some sort. Huh, I wonder if we can get it out. Well, we obviously need a key. So we got this lion, nice lion. It's a pretty realistic painting. It's like a really, really, really real lion. Don't sing in a whisper like that. It's creepy. It kind of looks like he's covering up a hairball. I think he's trying to eat something, not cough, eat something, not cough it up. He's trying to eat a hairball? Uh, probably something else. What? I, I don't know. There's just a hole there. So we need to put something in the hole. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we need to put something in the hole for it to eat. There's a button down here. There's a button under the screen. Push it then. Right. And there. Oh, we got something. Hey, it turned on. Looks like there's something on it. One, two, three, four. Start T-O-B-C-N-C-J-P-S-G-F-M-K-A-S-U-Y-U-R-H-L. M goes that way. H goes the other way. It says start in the corner there. Maybe it's a board game? Hmm. You found an image of a board game, you can review it in the archive. Okay, I've got to also look at this door puzzle instructions. The door is protected by a four digit password. You can use the hit, blow, count, hint. You can use the hit slash blow count hints displayed on the screen to figure out what those four digits are. If one of the numbers you select is a number in the password and in the right place, that will add to your hit count. If one of the numbers you select in the password is not in the right place, that will add to your blow count. Is a number in the password, but not. Okay, you get 10 tries for each password. If you exhaust your 10 tries, the password will reset. Oh, so it's just one of those sorts of things. Right, it's one of those puzzles. We've also got another plant. Look, there's a plant over here too. This one's pretty healthy. It's got a piece of plastic stuck in it too. Oh yeah, once again, a green... Looks like this one. Well, guess I'll be carrying around another plant then. Okay, so we've got a healthy plant and a not-so-healthy plant. Ah, uh, stop. I want to look at the door. Stop! I want to look at the door, because apparently there's like a game to the door. Shoot, won't open. There's a control panel in the middle of it. Yeah, I think that's how you unlock it. Okay. I think... I'm not sure, quite sure how it's supposed to work, but I guess I can try. So, like, if we try one, two, three, four... Check that. So, we got two hits and two blows. Damn. Okay, that's a really good start. So, what is this? This is fine to write on. One, two, three, four. So, I'm going to go... Wait, so I know that, oh wait, no, because blow could be that, one, five, six, four, check, one hit, one blow, so one and four are both in the same place again, and then the other two numbers I added in were incorrect, so one, four, three, two, one hit, one hit, so we know one is in the right place. So now one, three, two, four. Hmm, so one, two, four, three. Four blows? What? What? How did that go to zero hits? Oh, because I put three in the same spot. So if three, four is correct. Two, one, three, four. Four hit, right? Hey! I figured it out. Big brain puzzle man, Opar. Back at it again. 
throwing puzzles at you like it's goddamn Donkey Kong barrels. Hell yeah. You did it, Sigma. Looks like that was the answer. Phew. That was lucky. Anyway, it seems to have unlocked. Now I can go into the pod room. That was a weird animation to have. Okay, so we got three pods. What is this? Looks like there are three pods. From left, they're pod one, two, and three. And there are numbers on them. You just can't really see them from here. One, two, three. Yeah, so I remember. And then there's... Also, they've got um handles. Maybe they're for opening up the pods. And they are. There's one key. We've got a key, probably for the jellyfish tank. There's something in here. A key? Yeah, so there's a key. It's got some dots on it. Okay, let's try the next one. Oh, that's also got a clock on it? Hold on. So that's saying... 7... 7.15 or 6.15? This is a clock. Quarter past seven or quarter past... Okay. 7.15. Are you sure you're reading it right? Yeah. See? The 12. That's on the top. Okay. Great. So that's good to know. It's also a... Uh... Also this here. There's a message on the screen. Maintenance complete. Please insert activation chip. What does it mean about an activation chip? Well, I guess it's a chip we insert to activate the pod, you think? Why are you being like that? What? This is important, we... Okay, okay, I get it. We need to get Cork into one of those things, right? Yeah. Oh, right, she's being like, why are you saying that? Of course I'm being serious, right? So let's see what's inside. Pod number two, we got a second key. Yeah. It is a key, isn't it? So we got a silver key now. And we got another... We got another... Uh, what's the word? Activation screen, whatever. Another screen. So in the last one, is there a third key? Nothing in this one. There's nothing here. Yeah, it's empty. No clues or... Wait! Something written on the inside of the cover. Wait, what? Really? Oh, there is two. 11-1. Or 1-11. This looks like a digital clock. 11 hours and 1 minute? Wait. Does that mean there could be also... Wait, so we've got 11-1... 11 1. Could there also be something written on top of the lid here? Oh, there is. There's another clock face. Shit. A clock, huh? Do you think it was a nipple with two hairs growing out of it? Of course not. The hands are pointing to 620. Hmm. So we got 12 15. It's either 1 11 or 11 1. But you never see 11 1. You see 11 01. So I think it's 1 11. We got 12, 15, and we got 6, what was it, 3rd, uh, 6, 20? What did you say it was? 6, 20. So I assume, I assume there's probably not something written on the bottom of the other one, but I better check quickly, because we had it written on the top this time. Okay, seems pretty normal to me. Good. Okay. Well, we've gone through the three pods. We've gotten two keys. We've gotten a few numbers for clues. There's nothing on the floor or anything. No, it looks like we're good to get out of here. So now we've got two keys. One. I think the silver key that I've got is for this. Uh, hey, game. Listen, I think it's for this here. I think this is the silver key. There's a lid on the tanks. You can't open it? Nope, looks like it's locked. Well, it's got a keyhole. Then I guess we need to unlock it if we want to open it. Ah, uh, Sigma, what? I think you can unlock it right now. Oh, yeah. There we go. Great, so it was that key. So now we can open it. And what the hell? There's a second lid. Yeah, but it's got a hole in the middle. If you stick your hand in there, maybe you can grab the one with the meat in it. It's not meat. Whatever. Let's give it a shot. Ah, hot! Shit, this water's really hot. Really? Really. Then these bubbles. Yeah, it's boiling. No way. No jellyfish could survive in boiling water. 
They are aliens! Yeah. We should try and get the purple one to rise up to the top somehow. If we can grab it right under the hole in the lid, I think I can grab it. You can move the three jellyfish by clicking and dragging. Move the purple jelly... What? If you move one of the yellow jellyfish to the hole instead, you're a failure and you we are very disappointed in you. Okay, let's do this. Oh. There we go. Big brain. Big brain opar back at it again. Gotta grab it. Jelly fast. What the heck? Jellyfish and fast because the water is hot. Okay, we got artificial jellyfish with that weird button. I wonder if this lion wants to eat the jellyfish. Hey, lion. Want to eat it? A picture of a lion? There's a circular hole between its jaws. Okay, no. Can I examine this tablet? A tablet. There's a message on it. Four pieces for the per first password. One piece for the second password. What the hell is that supposed to mean? If I touch it, the screen changes. Enter a four-digit password, then press the enter key on the right. I don't know anything of password, do I? Of the dice game? No, I don't have any. Uh, do you think maybe pieces can mean like pieces in the board game? Pieces. Don't you remember what it said on the tablet before the password screen popped up? Like, four pieces for the first password, one piece for the second password. Those pieces. Uh, okay, but what board game are you talking about? You already forgot? Mm, I didn't forget. I just don't understand how this has any relevance to anything. Okay, let's put the other key into into the clock here. Okay, we got the green thing. Ha ha, it's open. So now I can take this. Well, I guess I'll grab this first. Chip with number one written on it. So maybe that's an activation chip for the number one pod. Wait a minute, is there a chair down there? Am I just, oh yeah, but I've seen that, don't worry. So, I've got a number one activation chip for the number one pod, I think. So, I can use this to activate. Here we go. Oh, look! The color change. I think it says something, too. There's a message on the screen before use. The system must be initialized. Please perform the following test. One, treat vegetation. Okay. Two, freeze vegetation. Until tests are complete, pod will not function with human occupant. What the heck is this? Well, we can't put a person in there until it runs its test. Seems pretty clear to me. Then what about Quark? Don't worry, we just need to run the test. Something about treating and freezing a plant? Yeah, treating makes sense because these being treatments and all, but freezing? Well, we don't have a choice, do we? we got to follow the instructions. Come on, we don't just have time to sit around. we got to do these tests so we can get Quark into one of these pods. Yeah, right, got it. Okay. So... If we're wanting to treat a plant, we want to treat the withered plant, don't we? Okay, I put the withered plant down. What do we do next? Let's try closing the pot. Here it goes. I'm guessing I want to treat the withered plant. Identifying subject, done. Diagnosing subject, done. Initiating treatment cycle. I hope this is the right thing to do. Because it's withered. So you want to treat it, right? You don't want to treat something that's healthy. Treatment completed. Pod opening. Oh, it's back to new. Hey, what the heck is this? The plant was practically dead a minute ago. No way. No way, that's impossible. It's like magic. Well, we don't need this plant anymore. He's done a good job. And there should be an orange. Thank you for your service, sir. And there's the orange memory card. Huh, hey, it looks like there's something here. It must be the thing that was stuck in the trunk. Whatever the treatment was, must have pushed it out. Hell yeah. So we've got a red memory card. Now we may as well do the other treatment. 
Healthy plant goes in. Okay, this time it's the healthy plant's turn. I wonder if it'll work. Who knows? Let's just close it up. So now we'll be able to freeze it and then it's ready for human usage. Identifying subject, done. Diagnosing subject, done. Initiating free cycle. So it actually fully treated the plant and brought it back to life from it being practically dead. That's interesting. Freeze test complete. Pod opening. Damn, that is that is frozen. Whoa, it's totally frozen stiff. Probably because of your lame joke. Did, did I say something? Look, the leaves are all crunchy. Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, ah. Oh man, what'd you do, Clover? It's all broken now. But whatever. Just help me clean it up. Okay, so we cleaned that up and we've got a chip now, a microchip. Green micro. Huh, this wasn't here before. It's that plastic thing that was stuck in the trunk. It must have fallen out when the plant shattered. Okay, all right, I think that's both test. So hurry up and put quark in it. I know, I know, hang on. Are we actually putting quark in there? There we go. He's sleeping pretty hard, huh? You'd never think he's sick. I guess that soap roll stuff is pretty strong. Yeah. So, what do we do now? How about closing the cover like we did before? That's just start the automatic diagnosis. Got it. Are we gonna accidentally freeze him? Oh no, what are we doing? Identifying subject, done. Diagnosing subject, done. Single human occupant secured. Beginning treatment. Treatment? Is he gonna be okay? Maybe we should check the screen, yeah. No way, are we curing Quark? I think this is some kind of readout of Quark's vital signs. Body temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, respiration frequency, they all look normal. What a relief. Wait. There's something else down at the bottom. Radical 6 virus detected in subject. System is not equipped to treat Radical 6. Current program will alleviate symptoms but cannot cure viral infection. What the heck? Then what was the point of putting him in here? Well, I don't think there was no point. After all, it says it can alleviate the symptoms, but hold on. Let's keep looking. It says more. The system is capable of inducing a cold sleep state. Cold sleep state freezes subjects with SAS, preserving cellular structure. During cold sleep state, body functions are suspended, preventing viral spread. Activate sleep function? Yes, no. C cold sleep? What the heck is that? I have no idea, but remember the freezing test? Is it what it is? That's what it is. Whatever. We need to get out of here and tell everyone else about this. What should we tell it to do, huh? Do we put him in cold sleep? Activate sleep function. Yes or no? No question. What if he got smashed like the plant? No, it is. But did that alleviate his symptoms? Quark is in the spot and it's treating him right now. I probably shouldn't open it. Okay. Well, I'll take that. At least he's being treated a little bit. Okay, let's go out. And into this next room and we got two memory cards now we got a red uh, memory card and a green memory card look there's a hand face oh it's a digital one minute hand is pointing to five paths and we got a red memory card it did it again there's another hand okay and we got an hour hand and it's pointing to four o'clock great so now hopefully we can like somehow move this digital hand huh Hello? Can I do something with the clock? There is a card in each slot. What? Four o'clock. Five minutes past. I don't... I don't understand. I swear I gotta do something with this alien and the jellyfish. There's a circular hole. Yeah, well, put the jellyfish in the hole. Can I examine it? This is Ellen. She's a mysterious intelligent life form from the outer reaches of space. Don't give it a name. Here. Here, take it. Hey, stop it. What if it grabs onto my face and lays eggs in me or something? Ha. Come on, it just wants to give you a hug. Besides, it's not even alive. It's a thing. Man-made. Like some... Like a toy or something. But it's digesting a chunk of meat. That's not meat. Then what is it? Hold on. I'll pull it out now. Oh. So now I can put this into here. Boom. Yep, that's perfectly right. Yeah, I don't think it did anything that... Look, huh? Oh. What the heck is this? A, a laser? What the hell? 
Gosh, I didn't think there'd be something like this behind that picture. A laser. The laser's pointing into that room. Something with the third pod? There's something going on with that third pod. I wonder if I open the pod now with the laser. Is gonna do anything to the digital oh ooh. zero is that zero zero one five zero zero one five okay sweet i've got times now huh i got 1 11 11 1 12 15 6 20 and 0, 0, 15. Maybe now I can actually play with the clock now that I've got an extra time. Wait, did I? I don't know if I actually looked at it. I don't think I actually got the characters to talk about it. And I'm pretty sure the game is quite picky on talking about the stuff that I see. So if I click on this here, look, the lasers added stuff to the time. Yeah, looks like it's. 015 now okay there we go just in case i needed to activate some kind of thing with the with the time activate activate some kind of thing i don't know uh but now maybe i can play with it the hands are oh wait no 405 is one of the other times okay so the times, the 1-1 one, one doesn't actually matter. 405, 015, 1215, 620. What does that mean? Huh? One. Oh, and that's number four. Wait. Pods one, two, three, four. Okay. 1215 was one. 620 was two. That was three. And that was four. Why did I write down 1215? It's... It was 7.15, first of all, brain. I don't know why I wrote down 12.15. It's 7.15, 6.20, 0.15, 4.05. I guess, what if I just go start from M? Oh, M is minutes, H is hours. Wait a minute, minutes? Hours. So start from T, how many is seven hours? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. Oh, wait, I'm confused. I messed up my counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I count what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? I don't know. I'm getting confused myself. I'm just going to say it's P. Now, from here, I assume I just keep going from P. So, six hours. So, wait. Yeah, one, two... Three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't know if I'm doing this right. So from P, one, two, three, four, five, six. I assume it's making a word. That's why I'm confused about P T. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. O makes more sense. So then 3 is 0 and 15. So... Wait, am I going the wrong way? No, that's the right way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. U. P-O-U. And then 4 and 5. 
Well, it would technically just be one, wouldn't it? Poor. There we go. It actually makes a word. Okay. A tablet. The screen says the following. Four pieces for the first password. One piece for the second password. That makes no sense. I don't understand that. But I got the I got one of the passwords, I think. Poor. Completed. Oh god. Heh, <laughs> thought so. Nice work, Sigma. Yeah, I guess so. Oh wait, look. Huh? Oh, huh. This is it's a password for the save. Isn't that the secret password though? Wait, how did I get the secret password? Okay, well I'm gonna go read the secret stuff before I somehow what? How did I get the secret password? Star sun sun. Star sun sun. Star sun sun. But it's the secret password. It's not the escape password. This make... Yeah, I got the secret. What the hell, dudes? What the hell? Okay, let's quickly read all the secrets. Because someone said to not read the secrets. And I apologize. I am going to read the secrets. Because... I want to, I, I want to know, and I know there's a little bit of spoilery, but that's the point of the secrets, is you, like, kind of, you pre-learn what's going on, and that's why it's fun. An amazing machine that augments an individual's natural ability to heal, strengthens their immune systems, accelerates their metabolism, and can, can cure many otherwise incurable diseases. In addition, it can creation, in addition, it can creation personalized medicines, you mean it can create? perform gene therapy and even repair the effects of radiation damage. What an incredible machine. It's not that incredible if it can't recure radical 6, you say? Yes, well, I guess you got a point, but don't worry. It also has a function called cold sleep. Cold sleep uses CAS freezing to freeze the entire body without damaging it. That way, even if the disease you have can't be cured, you can be frozen until a cure is found. There are generally two types of cold sleep. The first type involves lowering your internal body temperature. This reduces your basic metabolic rate and induces a state similar to hibernation in other words your body is still actively functioning just very slowly the other sort is one in this game this involves freezing your body to essentially lock it in whatever state it was in until recently this was impossible because the expansion and crystallization that took place during the freezing process irrevo ir irrevocably damaged human tissue in the world where this game takes place, however, CAS technology has overcome this hurdle and made cry cry cryonics a reality. The resuscitation rate is nearly 100%. In fact, you'd be much more likely to die in a plane crash, which means that freezing yourself to visit the future is safer than flying from Tokyo to Milan. CAS stands for Cells Alive System. It allows organic tissue to be safely and non-destructively frozen. In this game, CAS is used to be put people in cold sleep. It supercools the subject with a magnetic field and causes them to freeze, almost instantly preventing crystallization. In real life, the problem comes when you try to thaw something out, which also must be done instantly. In this game, however, the technological magic of the treatment pod makes returning from cold sleep possible. So the two previous... Wait a minute, what? Two past nonary games... 16 children were reported missing in actuality 18 children were taken but two were never reported the person in charge was someone we were referred to as h the purpose of the game was to conduct experiments on morphic resonance with the children as test subjects i won't go into the specifics here but the short version is that this was the first nonary game and then in november 1st 2027 a total of nine people participated in this session they were abducted just as the children had been but this time hongo was not in charge of the game clover was a participant and participant in both games and now she finds herself playing the nonary yet again in context of the game espers are people with the ability to access the morphogenic field and esper can increase the strength of their signal by being close in proximity to the other espers assuming they are the strongest the strongest signal will absorb any weak ones nearby and use them to amplify its own strength sort of like waves the biggest wave adds the amplitude of smaller waves on its own to cover them up the following nine people were participants in the nonary game that clover claims to be in a part of ace snake clover jimpei june seven lotus Ku Kubota. <laughs> Skittish man gets blown up. Attractive programmer has two daughters. I never learned more about Lotus. Apparently if I did the one last ending, I could learn more about Lotus. The submarine ending or something. So if you guys want to learn about Lotus, 
Let me know if I should jump back to do the submarine ending for 999. A type of carbamate compound which acts as a reversible actalcone inhibitor, exciting the parasympathetic nerve. This allows it to counteract the effects of the muscle relaxant tubocurine. It can be delivered with an injection gun like the one you see here? No stigmine. I could be saved in the one where I die. What? Wait, what? Okay. So now I just got to figure out how to solve the last tablet game. So I actually want to be in front of this here. So how do I solve this last one? Okay, what if I do the opposite of minute and hours? Start at T. And go seven one. Oh wait, no, seven this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we start at K. And then go six. That way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. KH. I don't think I'm doing this right then. Hours go that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. KHC. No, this doesn't make sense. Minutes uh, go that way, hours go that way, so hours go minutes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. B. K H C B. No, that doesn't sound right. So if I go the normal way we start at P again what if I then reset to the second counter because there's four count what if what if I mean to do it as four players and maybe I maybe I did it as one player before and now it's like four players okay so we go to P now from T we go Hours is this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes. P S. Well, this is wrong too. Minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. PSY? Oh. Sayo? What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What if I count one as one? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't understand what I've done. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I. It could be PA, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It could be PAS, and then. 
PA is four and a five. Pass. Oh, if I'm not going across it, if I just start at one, past. Past? Past. Past? I don't know. I've got so many options. Past? Oh, I didn't big brain this. I... They took so long, guys. Oh my god. Good job, you logged in. Yeah, but look at the screen. Huh. Star sun, sun, moon. Okay. Jesus, that puzzle broke my brain. Phew, it's open. Good job. That's twice you opened it. Oh, no way. Whoa, that look thing looks dangerous. You mean this gun? Yeah, I don't worry about it. It's the cure for me dying. I don't have to die when Dio betrays me, guys. I think this is just an injection gun. This will literally... When I get to here, five minutes of life, I'll know where to go. Because they're going to the treatment center. I think this is an injection gun. It's a helpful tool, not a weapon. Are you sure? I think that kind of depends on what's in that vial there. The label says neostigmine. Huh. What did you just say? Neostigmine. Why? Does that mean something? Well, let me see it. Neostigmine. Neostigmine. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. No good. I can't remember. Damn. I don't think that's bad, though. Do you have any proof? Nope. Of course not. Um, could you let me hang on to this? Are you sure it's not dangerous? What would you do if it was? All right. I trust you. You don't seem like a bad person. Hehehe, <laughs> thanks. Then how about I let you take me on a date sometime? If we get out of here in one piece. Yeah, oh my god. Me and Clover just got in a relationship. Cool, moving on. We've still got a bunch of stuff in here. But it's all flat stuff. Uh, yes, it is. We've got a map. We've always got a map. So, yeah, 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 that's fine. Up next, some grey cards. So we've got the, the moon cards. For me and Quark who's currently in a stasis pod. And then what have we got next? Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then everybody gets penalized. In other words, all three of us can't vote. One of us has to. So either you, me, or you mean. Oh well, there's no reason not to pick Ella in the next round anyway. Of course, first we've got to get out of this room. And that'll be easy. Just look at the last thing in the safe, the key to the exit. Boom, let's go. Well, guys, that is it for this episode. We have found the exit. We can get the hell out of here. We're gonna go out of here. We're gonna put the key into the exit. This is the lock for the exit. It says lock right now. Are you ready? Let's get the hell out of the treatment center. Three, two, one. You found it. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode of some more Zero Escape Virtues Last Reward. Let me know. Like I said, if you want to see... I know it's returning to 999. Oh, that was... Oh, it's Dio being an asshole again. Well, guys, we're going to find out next episode of Dio is being an asshole and forcing people to play the Ambidex games. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I make. Stay safe, Bully Squad. See ya!